hi guys in this video we will learn how to use rich text box in laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's understand okay so let me go here and i already created product create component over here and with the name and price column and if i click on save button it will create one product so let me go here and you can see that name price okay and now let me go to the simply component class there is submit method and simply store the product okay so now what i will do i will take another column that's called details and i already taken into the database you can see over here details okay now what i will do into this form i will add another column that's called details and i will use summon not for that okay summon not reach text box okay simply go here and what i will do first simply copy this paste it and here i will simply say details and i will remove this entire and i will use text area and i will use class that's called bootstrap class form control okay save it okay and here i will be add details okay save it okay now refresh you can see that simply there is a rich uh, like text area over here now what i will do simply go here refresh you can see over here okay this rich text box i am going to use okay so simply go to the example okay there is already given the example but before that i want to use cdn so simply go here and i need to use the js and css for it so i will copy this js and let me go here in layouts file app here i am going to cdn added same thing going for bootstrap 5 main css copy this paste it over here okay simply save it okay and now what i will do simply go here you can see that there is already given the code so i will copy this and simply go to my blade file and i will simply say at the rate script at the rate and script okay and here i will be use script simply copy and paste over here okay now what i will do i will remove this option because right now i'm not going to use any option save it and here i am going to add save it okay now what i will do simply go here and refresh you can see that there is a perfect you know like a rich text box over here with all the you know tool tip and image upload option and everything okay so now let me go add option that's called height and i will simply say 200 okay save it okay refresh you can see that much more bigger okay now what i will do i will simply add some text and simply save it yeah you can see that but it's gone our editor from here okay so how can we do that and you can see that if i refresh again it's come over here with the summon not okay but if i click on it you can see that's updating so what i will do i will use live wire ignore component and that way it will ignore that part to every time re-render okay so simply go here and i will take one div and inside that div i will simply say text area okay and here what i will do i will simply say wire ignore okay so what wire ignore does this area this inside this div that's not really render again and again okay simply save it okay and now let me refresh it and i will save it you can see that price is required okay same thing i want to detail also required so same thing i will go here and i will simply say details will be required not numeric it's simply required and here also i will add details comma over here and here i will be simply say details simply save it okay and now everything perfect fine okay now let me go here refresh yeah there is something problem yeah comma i forgot save it okay now if i save it mm, yeah there is a problem no property found for details so here what i need to do simply say details variable save it and same thing what i will do wire model and i will see details okay save it okay and it's bind it properly now save it you can see that detail field is required now let me write it save it but you can see that that's detail was not gone even if i add for price it's gone so that means it's not assigned real time so what i need to do simply go here and i will use one more function that's called callbacks and then i will simply use on change event okay and i will say function and then i will simply say contents okay and what i will do over here i will use this dot set and i will use 
I will set the value onto the details variable and contents okay now simply save it okay now what I will do simply go here refresh and if I click on it details field is required now let me read it you can see that now it's assigned to the details variable okay so same thing let me test it so I will say test one price will be hundred hundred and I will simply add test details okay and simply save it okay now you can see that product created and now let me go here and simply go refresh it you can see that test one and you can see that test details okay over here so that means we implemented over here rich tax book with the summer note so i hope guys you understand how easily we can do it with the wire ignore and how we can do it so if you like my videos then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys